doing now in our Rhino 4 series is we're going to have a look at allocating materials to elements that were built in the 3D model. So in that regard what I've done is I've just built four very simple cubes. You can sort of see them in red on this architectural model uh, and I've built those on a construction layer. Okay, so I'll just show you there. Okay, if you have a look at one of the ways that we can allocate materials on a model is via the layers menu. So I find that the use, most useful one to work with. I'll just stretch that to one side there so we can see it. Now you'll see the little red box shape there. That's the, uh, the layers color. So you can sort of see them allocated in red there for the purposes of, uh, of modeling. But if we switch it to the rendered view, you'll sort of see it's that sort of semi-transparent box. I'll just adjust that back up to uh, zero, just so we can see it clearly. Okay, and you'll see currently the default color is just white. So the materials that we've allocated to the con layer is just plain white, zero transparency. Okay, but what we can do is via, by clicking on that little white circle, we get the materials editor window come up and we can adjust any color we like by that. So we'll make them blue, click OK, and voila. There we go, when we just render it, uh, I'll just render that in Rhino shortly, just to make it quicker. But you can see this is in the Flamingo render engine, the basic Flamingo render engine. They've currently got an NXT out at the moment, which is better still, but uh, we can allocate any colour via that. Okay, I'll just switch that back to Rhino, so we're working with what you'll be working with. And we click that little circle, and there we go. We can also adjust the transparency and the gloss or reflectivity of a material through those settings. Although in Rhino, reflectivity is not, I find, a particularly useful setting, it doesn't seem to work. I tend to do that through uh, other render engines. But there you go, you can sort of see we can make any glass or transparent material on any of our models via that tab. The other thing which I wanted to show you at this point is that we can also allocate materials through individual objects. So if we press F3 on our computer, you'll see the properties window comes up for the individual object and you'll see there's a pull down tab for the material on that. So we can, at the moment, you'll see it's to click to layer. What we'll do is allocate it via the individual object. So we click it to basic, and then we'll change the color to some sort of hideous purple color. We'll make it zero transparency. So if we've got a model that's got a lot of uh, consistent elements, but the odd one out that we, do, we don't want to have separate layers on, then we can select individual elements and have them rendered separately. There you go. All right, now that's a very basic introduction. I know that's really short, but I'm trying to keep these videos down to a contained level and we can progressively build it up as time goes on. So just remember with this, layers menu, just to the right, there's a little circle. Left click on that little circle and you get the basic settings for any of your materials. Colors, reflectivity and transparency. Alternatively, Click on an individual object, press F3, and you'll get the individual objects bar, and then you can do the same material e editing just by an individual window. So we'll go green this time. Okay. Okay, good luck to everyone on that. Catch you later. Bye.